By the end of this session, you'll be able to use kinematic equations to predict displacements and velocities for uniform acceleration, and you'll be able to derive the kinematic equations using motion graphs. Now, what do I mean by kinematic equations? Well, this is simply a set of equations that we use for moving objects when we want to calculate something about the object. So they're equations of motion, or kinematic equations. If we have a moving object, then there are usually five things that we need to know, or that we want to know about. The first is its displacement, s, its initial velocity, u, final velocity, v, its acceleration, and the time. Now, the kinematic equations are often known as SUVAT equations because of the way SUVAT is spelt out by those quantities. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at how we can derive these equations. There's a lot of information and you will need to work through these on your own as well as listening to the video. So let's start. And we'll start with the simple equation we know for acceleration, which is change in velocity divided by time taken. Get that equation. If we rearrange it, then we get our first kinematic equation. V is U plus AT. So that's simply rearranging acceleration. Now, as we rearrange these equations, we'll start substituting in for things that we know or things that we want to know. And the idea is to get an equation that has four of the, fi four of the five quantities that we're interested in. And then if we know three of those quantities, we can work out the fourth. So that's the ultimate aim of these equations. And bear that in mind as we go through. So we'll now look at the average velocity. Well, to work out an average, you add up however many you've got and divide by that number. So we've got initial plus final velocity divided by 2. We write that like this. We also remember that displacement is average velocity times time. So if we substitute in for that, we get that displacement is the average velocity, the u plus v divided by 2, multiplied by time. Okay, So that's an equation for s which doesn't include the acceleration. Now, going back to our equation for acceleration and rearranging it, we get this one. We can then substitute that equation for t into the equation for displacement that we just had. And if we rearrange that, then, as you see, we end up with v squared is u squared plus 2as, another kinematic equation. OK, now for the next one. So we're using our s is u plus v over 2 multiplied by t. Substituting in for final velocity this time, we get this. OK, if we simplify this equation, we get u is a half plus at. Substitute that in, we get another equation for displacement, this time with acceleration, but without the final velocity. So s is ut plus a half at squared. 